Okay. Another problem in the category of percentages is this one right here. So let's read it. Uh, we have a toy store is selling bags of marbles at 20% off. The sale price is $2.24. What was the original price? All right, since we don't know what the original price was, let x equal the original price. Let x equal the original price. Okay, now we need an equation to translate the English sentences into mathematical form. And, um, well, we can say the sale price. Oop. Not the selling price, but the sale price. Equals the original price. Minus the discount. Okay, that seems to make sense. So, the original price, we let that equal x. All right, so that equals x. The sale price, um, well, that's, they tell us what that is. It's $2.24. And the discount, well, let's see. They tell us that it's 20% off. And I guess we assume that's 20% off from the original price. So minus 20% of the original price. Okay, and we define the original price by x, so that will be 20% of x. So $2.24 equals x minus 20% of, and of course, of in mathematics means multiplication. So that's 20% of the original price x. And of course, we want to convert the 20% to a decimal. So that's 224 equals x minus 0 0.2 times x. And now we're ready to solve this equation. Now it looks like a simple, straightforward, um, linear equation with the variable x. Uh, but we have decimal places, so we want to get rid of decimal places first. And to do that, since there's two places here and one decimal place there, we want to multiply both sides by 100 to get rid of that. So multiply the left side by 100. Multiply the right side by 100. All right, 100 times this, that gives us 224. 100 times x, that's 100x, minus... 0.2 times 100, that means when you multiply times 100, it's like moving the decimal place over two places. So that's 1, 2, that gives us 20 times x. And so 224 equals 100x minus 20x, that's 80x. I like to reverse these because I like to put 80x on the left side, 224 on the right side. So that's 80x equals 224. I don't need to change the sign here because I just simply flip the equation over. And now I can divide both sides by 80. And so I get x equals 224 divided by 80. All right, how do I simplify that? Well, first of all, um, they're both divisible by 2. So let's keep doing that. So 224 and 80, that gives me 112 divided by 40. They're still divisible by 2. So that gives me uh, 56 over 20. They're still divisible by 2, so it gives me 28 over 10. And now I can simply divide by 10, and so it would be 2.8. And if I convert that to dollars, so remember x was the original price, and so we convert that to dollars, so that means the original price is equal to $2.80.